Hey, Janice, thank you. A family tragedy in Tamarack where a little boy drowned in a canal. Local 10's Terrell Fournier is live with the latest on this developing story for us. Terrell. And this is an incident that happened over the weekend in this canal near a residential community. Neighbors today are really believing and saying that they wish they could have done more to step up and help this child. The waterways line this townhome community just off Commercial Boulevard near Rock Island Road in Tamarack, and it's where a frantic rescue happened Saturday afternoon. It's, it's, it really just hurts. I, I feel it for the, 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 you know, the family. Neighbors are just now learning the six-year-old boy pulled from the water here did not survive, despite the critical care he received from first responders. Some of us were here praying. I, when we went to church yesterday, I was asking persons to pray because we didn't know. I mean, the fact that he was airlifted gave us hope. But that child was eventually pronounced dead at the hospital prompting an investigation by the Broward Sheriff's Office. Detectives tell Local 10 they initially got a call about a missing and endangered child in this residential community. That six-year-old boy was found in the canal sometime after. But whenever these tragedies happen, you can't help but hope that you are wish you could have helped or prevented it. The tragedy is doubling as a reminder to other families about the importance of potentially life-saving swim lessons for kids. It's really important that, you know, we try to have the kids at a young age, you know, just learn, learn, you know, how to handle themselves in the water. Yeah, drowning, one of the leading causes of injury-related death uh, for children five and up, according to the latest figures, Broward Sheriff's Office at this point, trying to get that message out as well about the importance of getting kids uh, into those swim lessons. As for this drowning incident that happened here, detectives with BSO are investigating the circumstances, but at this point, they say no foul play is suspected. We are live in Tamarack, Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News. Terrell, thank you.